Hi, I'm Ernie Conover. A nifty bowl turning project that can be done with any lathe, but is especially good for mini lathes like this little Excelsior right here, is to turn a bird's mouth bowl. It is best turned from a freshly cut limb off of almost any tree. This one happens to be a piece of apple. The first order of business is to take your limb and measure the diameter. This one happens to be three and a quarter in the long dimension and about three and seven eighths across. An oval shaped limb like this is the best for a bird's mouth bowl. It's perfect in fact. I've already cut off a piece. I've found the center and a traditional spur center is best for this. As I bring this up tight, I like to take a wood mallet and just Tap that right there and then right there. Really embed that center in that piece. Tighten it up well here. Everything's good and ready to go. We're going to make sure that this doesn't hit the tool rest. And lastly, we're going to step to one side, turn on the lathe, and see that it stays in the lathe and doesn't go into the air. Standing over here, it won't hit us. You only need a few tools to turn a bird's mouth bowl, the principal one being a bowl gouge. In fact, a small one works better. This is a quarter inch Thompson bowl gouge. I'm going to put my face shield down, turn on the lathe. My initial shaping of this bowl is with the mouth against the spur center and the base down here against the live center. I'm tapering this down. It's going to flare out and then come back in and then flare out again, giving kind of a round bird's head shape to it. I want to cut pretty slowly as I exit there to minimize my breakout. With these types of forms, it's always good to turn the lathe off while you move the tool rest until you get the piece completely round. That's about the shape I'm looking for. I've got to get the base a lot smaller yet. There's our outside shape, and as you can see, it's starting to look like a baby bird in the nest waiting for its mother to give it some food. We have the basic outside shape finished. It is now time to sand that shape if you wish to, but these types of bowls are often just turned with very sharp tools and good techniques, and no sanding or finish is applied to them. Our next job is to scrape a little tenon on the end here with a scraper. We're going to raise our rest to scrape. Scraping downhill. We're just scraping a tenon that we can either put in a glue block or grab in a four jaw chuck. I've mounted a piece of oak on a face plate and I've scraped a hole in the center of it that is deep enough to accept that tenon and the shoulder that we created right there to bottom out against the face of that glue block. I also scraped that face dead flat. I'll now put some medium viscosity cyanoacrylate glue in here. I will spray the tenon with accelerator, which is a catalyst for this glue, and I'll just bring the two together. I'll give that about five minutes and we'll be ready to turn the inside. All right, I've waited about five minutes now. The glue's nice and dry. 
I'm not going to hit on the tool rest. Everything's locked down. It's time to turn the inside. And you do that job just about like any other bowl. You start here in the middle and take scooping cuts. My rest's a little bit too high. I'm going to adjust that just slightly. There, perfect. We're obtaining our classic bird's mouth shape here. Our wall is still fairly thick and we've got a lot more to take out of the inside. Starting this cut and getting a perfect fuzz-free cut right at this edge can be a little daunting if you haven't used a bowl gouge too much. An easy trick is to take a nice sharpened scraper cutting downhill. Just scrape in just like that. And now that you're past the uneven edge, you can pick that cut up. And complete it with a bowl gouge. All right, we've now completed our outside. The inside's got a very nice thin wall. It's time to take a big round nose scraper, raise the rest just a little bit so that you're scraping downhill like this. Fair out that bottom, get a nice shape to it. And if you need to, tip that up a little bit and scrape the sides to thin them. Our last job come around with our tool rest, place it carefully, and now we're going to cut this off with a parting tool. And we're going to cut right here, but we're going to cut a little in this direction so that we undercut that base very slightly. And there we have our baby bird putting its head out of the nest with its beak open and ready for food. These are a lot of fun to turn. We've kept the bark on this one. I just cut this limb. The bark will stay on if you harvest the limb in the winter. In the summer, it's anybody's guess. If you put water-thin super glue along the Camden layer right here, you can often make it stay on there, which increases kind of the fun of this piece. Stop whacking your head on all the limbs that are hanging down too low when you mow the lawn. Go out and cut a few off and turn some bird's mouth bowls.